Okay, today we're going to be looking at two different ways of uh, going through a text file and only displaying lines that have a certain number of words or strings on them. Uh, we're going to do this, like I said, in two different ways. The first way is a little bit shorter. It's using awk, uh, which um, is a great little tool. It actually has its own full programming language if you want to learn it, but you can call it from within your shell scripts and, uh, and use it, and that's what we'll do. But then we'll look at a way of doing it uh, with built-in commands, just in case you're on a, like a very stripped-down system that may not have awk and you need to do this. So it's a little bit longer of a command, the second one, um, but should work pretty much all the time. Uh, so let's have a look here. I have, I'm in a folder. I'm going to list out the files. We have one file. Uh, it's a text file called file.txt. I'll cat that out to display the information within it. And you can see I have a bunch of just random lines in here with different number of, number of words on each line. Um, and I'm going to type clear to clear the screen, or you can press control L to clear the screen in most cases. And as I said, I'm going to use awk in this first example. So I'm going to say awk, and I'm going to do uh, single quotes, and then inside that little uh, squiggly braces or curly braces. And I'm going to say if, and then we're going to go parentheses, and F equals equals, in this case I'll say three, because we let's say we want to get every line that has three words on it, no more, no less. If it has three words, we want to print it. So then outside of those parentheses, we're going to say print. And then outside of all that, we're going to say the file that we want to search through. So let's look at this real quick. We're using awk, and then what's inside these single quotes here are basically, it's basically an awk script. Um, so we're saying we're doing an if statement, but for awk, not necessarily our shell. And we're going to say nf, uh, which I'm not 100% sure what it stands for. Uh, it's number maybe, number something. Anyway, uh, we're going to say the, the line, you know, it's it basically if that equals three, that's the number of words or strings on a line. If that's true, then print that line. Otherwise, it's just going to skip over it. So if we hit enter now, you can see we got all the lines that have three strings on it. And I put some special stuff in here just so you can see that it's basically going based on spaces. So even though these aren't words, it's seeing as three different strings. Um, and of course, we can change that number. I'm going to hit up arrow to go to the last command and change that to five. And you can see now it's printing all the lines that have five words or five strings on them. Now, as I said, that's using awk, which is on pretty much all desktop systems and most servers you're gonna get into, but maybe you're working on something with a stripped down interface, a very stripped down shell. Maybe you're working uh, in the shell on an Android uh, machine that you don't have uh, full root access to true root into something stronger, or you're working on like uh, a router. Those are cases where you tend to have very stripped down shells. So now we're gonna use uh, pretty much uh, all built-in commands, so this should work on pretty much any device. I'm not going to say 100% of the time, but most of the time. We're going to cat the file out, and that's just going to, as we said earlier, it displays what's inside the file. Control L to clear the screen. I'm going to pipe that, taking the output of that, and I'm going to say while read line. And what this is saying is, while we're reading this file, for each line, and line in this case is a variable. You, can, you don't have to put line there, you can call it something else, but since we're reading the lines, I'm calling it line. So for each one of those, we're going to do something for each line, one at a time. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to say, put uh, uh, brackets here, and I'm going to do space, dollar sign, and parentheses, and what this is going to do is, whatever we put inside here, we're going to put a command inside here, and the output is uh, going to be replace that. So whatever the output of this command is, is actually what's going in this place. So we're going to say echo and inside quotations uh, line. That's our variable. So that's our line. And we're going to pipe that into wc-w. wc is a command that uh, basically it will count the characters, lines, and or words within a file. In this case, we're not looking at the whole file, we're looking at each line individually, and this dash W is saying, look at the number of words. So that should, all of this, what this should do, is output the number of strings or words on this line of that file. So now that we have that, we're going to say dash EQ, which means equals, if that line equals three, well, then 
we're going to do something. We're going to say end, end. Now, the two, uh, amp are they called ampersands? I call them end symbols. Um, let me uh, shrink this down so it's all on one line here, make it a little bit easier to read. Um, what that does is one of these would just say, while this is running, do the next command. But when you do two of them, what that is saying is, if this is true, then run the next command. Otherwise, skip this next command. And the next command is going to be echo dollar sign line. And then semicolon done to finish our loop here. Let me once again make that. There we go. So let's look at this real quick. We're going to cat out the file. Then we're going to read it one line at a time. And each line is going to be called line. Then inside these uh, braces here, brackets here, and it is important that you have the correct spacing. There should be spaces there. It won't work if you don't have those spaces. We're going to check the number of words on that line. And if that number of words equals three, then we're going to echo out that line. Otherwise, skip that line. So if we hit enter, it, en it prints out every line that has three words on it from that file. We can change that to, once again, let's, do, let's try six. We have a few lines that have six on it. And um, this works. Right now, I'm actually inside uh, Z shell is what I'm using. But if I went into bash and ran the same command, I get the same output. So it works in bash. And if I go into basic a basic sh shell and paste that command, by the way, I highlight it, and then I'm center clicking on the mouse to paste it in there, or you can right click copy and right click paste. I'll hit enter and you can see it works there. So this should work on stripped down shells. I haven't actually tried it. Where awk may be a tool you don't have even though the, short, the command is shorter. But in most cases, um, on pretty much every desktop system, Linux system is going to have awk built in. So this shorter command should work. And, uh, and like I said, you just change this number to whatever you want it to be. Uh, and it will output uh, the lines. So, oh, oh, what's, oh, that's completely random. That's, ignore that. That was not intentional whatsoever. Um, you know, clear that out. Okay. So anyway, uh, <laughs> those are two ways of finding all lines with a set number of words on each line from within a text file. So I hope you find that useful because you might need to do that sometime. And uh uh, I hope that you enjoy this tutorial. I hope you continue to enjoy my tutorials. I hope you think about subscribing, visiting my website, filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with a K. As of uh, just a few days ago, I uh, completely redid my site. It's much simpler to search through my videos now. Uh, still not perfect. It's hard, you know, when you got as many videos as I do to organize them all. But we got playlists and videos, and they're all searchable. And, uh,. I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Oh, by the way, my website is filmsbychris.com. That's Chris with the K, and there should be a link in the description. Have a great day.